Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, how are you? Hey, good evening, Miss. Good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How are you doing today? Bien, mis felices porque ustedes nuevamente nuestro teacher. Bueno, lo digo por mí. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's me again. It's y me. gracias a Inglés Corporativo por volverla a poner. <laughs> teacher, se ganaron un 10. <laughs> Ya, yeah, casi no me pasa esto. Esto es, esto es, esto es una cosa nueva para mí. Yes. Casi no me pasaba eso tantas veces en un grupo. Pero here I am. Aquí estamos. Tenemos un par de compañeros nuevos. I think we have a few new classmates. We'll get to know them. And wait a minute. I need to send you a message because it's time for the class already. And some students are not here. So we're gonna see with that. Let's see what is the group. This is the group. Hello. Mary Red. This is today. And we're waiting for you. Okay, perfect. Send the message. Okay. So welcome to the class, class once again. Thank you very much for being here. And as always, I appreciate your punctuality. I appreciate that you're here on time. Uh, I know that some students have been my students for a couple of modules so far, right? And maybe I have new students because I know I have new students with me. Maybe you are not new to the program. Maybe you have studied with English Corporativo in other modules, but not with me, okay? Not with me as your teacher. But now I'm going to be your teacher for the ones that don't know me. My name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas. You can call me Miss Diana or Miss Sayas. Either way, it's okay. The only thing that you cannot call me is teacher because you know teacher is professor profesora, so be calling me teacher or docente, docente, is like docente Diana, teacher Diana, docente Diana, docente Diana, so nah, it's better if you call me miss, right, that will be like niña o doña o seño, whatever, right, as you will like it. Now, um, I introduce myself, again, that's my name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas, for the ones that are new here, I know a couple of you are new, but most of you know me already because we have been together in the past, right? We, you have been my students and I have been your teacher. Okay, nice to, na, necesito to see you again. Oh, nice to see you again, Ramiro. I think that's what you meant to say, right? Okay, so welcome again. As I was saying before, we waited, I don't know, we waited for, for one week, uh, one week and a half, something like that, right? It was about a week or something like that. I know we have a couple of new students. I'm gonna ask you, if you were studying with Inglés Corporativo before, or this is your first time, because some students sometimes they take placement test. Like, do you know what is a placement test? Yeah? Nope. A placement test is when you take an exam and they tell you your English level and they assign you to that level, okay? So sometimes some students they take placement test and they get assigned to advanced levels or intermediate levels like in this case okay well now we need to start and I'm going to start with the attendance because you know that's the first thing always always the first thing so I'm going to start with the attendance if you hear your name you will say present or I am here okay let's start with that first because it's eight of five already so let's go Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Diaz Present, Miss. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. I'm here. Excellent. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Oscar Primolina Calidonio. Present, Miss. 
o sea, es Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Yes, hoy la tendencia está un poquito raro, no está en el orden de los names. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Here. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ok. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, Miss. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Here. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Excelente. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. ¿No? Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. José Alfredo. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Omar Set Galicia López. Omar Set Galicia López. Lo veo, pero no lo escucho. Maybe your microphone is off. Nope. Okay. Well, so the attendance this time is different than the last attendance because maybe you're not organized by the first letter of your name. I don't know. Something is weird today. But anyways, here we are. Again, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here. I know I have some of my old students that you have been with me like a couple of modules for now. And I have some new students, right? Because I can see uh, Walter, Monica, Dennis, um, I think is uh, Omar, Jennifer. I think they, 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 they are new faces to me. They are new uh, names to me, like names that I, I don't know. So I, I don't know, I wanna ask, Dennis, Walter, Monica, um, Omar and Jennifer, like, have you ever been, or, or have, yeah. you, have you studied English before? Or did you study English last month? Have you been studying with Inglés Corporativo or is this your first time? Yeah. How is it? You're you you're shy. I'm asking if this is your first time studying English or not. No, Dennis. No sé si lo puedo decir en inglés. No, no, no you, if you want to say it in Spanish now, you can say it in Spanish right now. Spanish is okay. Okay. No, anteriormente ya he estudiado en inglés corporativo, pero eso fue hace... Ok, gracias. Eh, anteriormente ya he estudiado en inglés corporativo, pero eh, había perdido la continuidad. Luego estuve en una academia, eh, pero estuve alrededor de cinco meses aproximadamente. Pero por situaciones de horarios, eh, se me complicó un poco. Eh, ya que con la situación de trabajo me tocó hacerlo ya eh, estaba desde casa eh, pero ya me tocó nuevamente retornar entonces ya se me dificultaba un poco y por eso es que me vi esta oportunidad de nuevo y me han aceptado y les agradezco ok, excelente, Dennis, welcome to the class welcome to English Corporativo again, ok, what about you Mónica? Okay. 
microphone. Hi. Hi. Um, in English, corporativo is my first time, but uh, before I had been studying in computer data system. Okay, you have been studying in, in the computer, like online? Huh? What? You have been studying where? In computer data system. Computer data system. That's correct. Oh, okay, okay. So you are like intermediate level? You consider yourself in intermediate level? Yes. Okay, perfect. So welcome to the class, Monica. Thanks. Uh -huh. So what about you, Walter? Uh, no, I never studied English. You don't study English? This is your first time? Yeah. Okay. And do you consider yourself intermediate level? Yeah, I think. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Walter. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. So let's see. What about you, Jennifer? It's my first time in English Corporativo. Mm -hmm. But you studied English before? Yes, in E4CC. Oh, okay. Got it. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. So do you consider yourself in intermediate level? Yes. Okay, perfect. So welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, I see. Uh, well, like, let's see. I think Jenny's, Walter, Jenny, Monica, uh, Omar, but I don't think Omar can participate. Well, I don't know. So Omar and Angela, those are my my new students. Angela, welcome to the class. She there. Hello, good night. Good evening, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so anyways, welcome to everyone. Welcome to the ones that are new. Welcome to the ones that are have been with me for a couple of months now because we have been together for a couple of months now, like since, so with some of you, since the beginning of the year. <laughs> I don't know, like we have been together for a while now. And some of you have been like joining the classes uh, as we go. So now we're gonna continue and uh, I would like to know if you have access to the platform already. Do you have access to the platform? Yeah? Maybe you got an email? Miss, a mí me, yo intenté ingresar ahora a la plataforma, si pude ingresar, pero no tuve acceso al, al curso directamente. Eh, ya lo hablé yo con... Con, con alguien de inglés corporativo que me va a ayudar con eso que daron este día. Oh, okay. So they told you they are going to help you. Yeah. Sí, me dijeron que me va a ayudar. Okay, perfect. Perfect, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Who else? I think we all have to have access to the platform if you are new uh, with us you will see that you have your email and you have like a, like a default. Uh, can, can you share the link in the chat? Yeah, I can share it. Let me go. Thank you. Uh, you should have an email that says your, like the, the link that has the link, has your email and you will have a password that is there, that is one, two, three, four, five, I believe. Once you log in, you will have to change the, plat the, the password, okay? And once you do that and you get into the profile, this is what you're going to see, right? You're gonna log in and you're gonna see Inglés Corporativo. And then this is what you should have been looking at. This is Plenty of uh, pre calificacion of three so C three four seven. I don't know, whatever English intermedio modulo dos, because this is the name of the curse. This was last one, and this is right now. Oh, I think this one is because we don't have a initiation code yet. So once you click here, you can click the name of it, and you will see this. We have four sections as always. 
We're gonna try to finish the four sections before we finish the module. As we know, we have five weeks. Okay, so this is section one, two, three, four, five. And the other important part is in this part right here, you can see Curso, Progreso, Discusión, Notas, Información del Curso Instructor, and Students Manual I2. So this is very important right here. You wanna, in this part, you're gonna do the exercises, right? But in this part right here, if you click there, let's click it, you will find the booklet or the manual, the booklet or the manual, so you can start and this is the material we're gonna be using in the classes, okay? So this material is gonna load, let's wait. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load. So this is the new one, right? So as you can see, student's manual, intermediate. This is intermediate number two. And then you're gonna see the program, all the details about it, the content, the objectives, all the things we need to and in this part, this is the class we're gonna be looking at today, okay? So that is the manual. But what you have to be doing is this. Here when it says Curso, in this part, you will have to be working here. Unit number one, product development, five questions. Okay, here we have it. In this part, you will see the, the class, all the classes are recorded. So these classes will be recorded and it will be uploaded here. You will see it once it's uploaded. Every class is uploaded to YouTube, okay? This is just like a, an example, but tomorrow you will see the class. Right now, no, because we are recording the class in this moment. So this is what you have to be paying attention to. Look at this, this one, this one, this ones, all the ones with the little pencil, they are homeworks. You can see here, tarea, they are homeworks. So you need to complete those activities in order to have a good grade. You have to have at least 80% of the platform completed in order for you to go to the next level, okay? So for example, let's do this one like, once the idea has been, let's just do it randomly. Randomly, then randomly, I'm not doing, this is not correct. Okay, you go, oh, almost correct, wow. I have good luck today. Okay, so you see, in this case, I have some uh, questions that are incorrect, but that doesn't mean that I have a bad grade because I can change it. Look at it, look, I can change it and I can press send again, you see? And now I have 20 out of 20 points, you see? So this is what you're gonna be doing. You can change the grade, you can do it as many times as you want, but you're gonna get the grade of the last time you do it, okay? So try to make sure that the last time you do it, all the items, all the questions are correct, okay? And as I was saying before, this is the most important part right here that we're gonna be looking at is the manual. Because that's what we're doing right now. That's the, that's the content of the module where we have the topics, conversations, questions, exercises, and everything we do in the class, okay? Now, I have explained a little bit about the platform how to use the platform for the ones that are new. We're gonna be finishing the platform like in a, before we finish the course. And now I'm gonna explain to you how we're, we're gonna be working. Now, I believe we are going to finish on August 21st, right? They told you that, right? Because we're starting right now and the last class is on August 21st. But I don't know, maybe we, yeah. I'm gonna let you know if we have classes on August, let me see something. As you know, intermediate level, they are five weeks, right? Five weeks, but because we have 
the week off in August. That's why we're gonna take a little bit longer, okay? Because from August 1st, that is a Tuesday, till August 4th, that is a Friday, we don't have classes, okay? Because that's vacation, got it? August 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, no classes. And then I believe we're coming back on August 7th. So, and then we're gonna be finishing, <laughs> you're celebrating already that we don't have classes. Uh, we're gonna be finishing on August 21st, around that time. Well, sometimes, you know, if I don't have power, electricity, if I don't have internet connection or something like that, sometimes we get a little bit behind. But hopefully we're gonna be finishing this module by August 21st, okay? So I think that's pretty much what I have to say. 50 hours in this module, five weeks, and the platform we have to be working on. And I think that's it. Do you have any questions? No, I have no question. Okay, you don't have questions. Perfect. Now, remember, we are in an intermediate level. Now we have to be speaking English, listening English, right? I think I have some messages here. Excuse me, I don't get the camera on because I'm on the phone. Okay, Ramiro, got it. Okay, so as I was saying, sorry, um, we have to be speaking in English. We have to be listening English. We have to be reading and writing English. Now we are not in basic level, so we are not allowed to use Spanish. Maybe you can use Spanish when you don't find the words and when you don't know how to say something, but maybe specific words. For example, I'm saying this, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know how to say um, recursos humanos. And I say, eh, I work in recursos humanos. My job is to do this and that. So, and I'm gonna say, hey, recursos humanos is human resources, okay? But don't try to say, all the words that you want to say in Spanish, because that is the problem, okay? Remember, English is not perfect here. It's okay to make mistakes, okay? If you make mistakes, if you don't know how to say something, if you are struggling, struggling is like um, having problems. If you are struggling to say something, if you don't remember a word, if you have mispronunciation, mispronunciation is bad pronunciation. If you have mispronunciation, if you mispronounce a word, whatever, whatever it is, okay? It's okay because we are learning, got it? Yes, okay. So the only mistake, the only mistake you're going to make is if you don't practice if you don't speak, okay? Because this is your time to practice. This is your time to speak. Mostly when I send you to the breakout rooms, okay? The breakout rooms are little uh, calls that you have with some classmates and those times you have to participate, okay? I see a few cameras on, just a few cameras on, you see? Most of the students have the cameras off and the, you know that it's a requirement, right? I guess it's a requisito, the camera. Because I'm like this, maybe I'm not here in the class. Where is the teacher? We don't know where the teacher it is, right? But if I do this, hey, there is the teacher. Yeah, that's better, that's different, right? So you know it's a requirement to have the cameras on. That is good as well. If you participate, if you have your cameras on, if you ask when you have questions, if you don't know something, but you always try to figure out or try to, to understand how to say it, you're going to learn. Remember, I'm going to be speaking slow so you can understand my English. 
If you don't understand something, you can always ask me. Teacher, can you repeat that? Miss Diana, I mean. Miss Diana, Miss, you can, can you repeat that again? And you say that again because I didn't understand. Or maybe I can say it with different words. But Spanish is something we're going to be using as a last resource. Okay? We good? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, perfect. See, excellent. That's what we have to be doing, participating. Now, as I was saying before, the first thing we're going to do is to go right away with the with the booklet or the manual. You have this, everybody has it in the platform. And here, if you can see the name of the unit number one is product development. Do you know what is the meaning of development? Desarrollo. Exactly. So product development. That's the topic we're going to be looking at. Remember, we are always learning English, but in these cases, we are learning a little bit more of vocabulary and vocabulary related to work because this is English for work. Okay, so here we have three questions or four questions, I think, four questions that we will have to discuss in the rooms. Okay, I'm going to read the questions for you. And then I'm going to choose some people to read individually each question. Pay attention <clears throat> to the pronunciation. <clears throat> How important it is to plan the development of a new product. What happens if a product is... Sorry, it, it is correct here. Wait a moment. This is incorrect. My goodness. Okay, it's is like that. X does better. If a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed, what happens again? What happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? Why do you think that happens? Okay, so can you help me reading the first question, please? Walter. Okay, how important it is to plan development of a new product? Okay, thank you, Angela. Okay, Walter, number two, please. What happens if the product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Excellent, thank you very much. Javier? Yes, miss. Next. Uh, have you heard about loss of cards that are withdrawing? from the market. Okay. Monica Avalos. <laughs> Read the last question. Why do you think that happens? Right, okay. So why do you think that happens? Okay, let's. we're gonna discuss these questions. The first one, as you know, says, how important it is to plan the development of a new product, okay? Do you think it's very important? Yes, I think it's very important to plan the development of a new product because we have to see the process and everything, okay? What happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed. Maybe it can have some issues, some problems, some technical issues, some technical problems. Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn? Do you know the meaning of withdrawn? Exactly. Thank you, Jocelyn. 
withdrawn from the market. And this happens with cards a lot, like many times. I have heard about phones as well that are withdrawn from the market because they were launched and now they have issues, technical issues. And then the next question says, why do you think that happens? Okay, so this is a conversational practice. You have four questions there. You are going to ask the questions and answer with your classmates. You can send the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. You can send, uh, you can share the screens in the groups and we're gonna go and practice these conversations. You don't have to write the answers. You just have to speak and practice. Is the activity clear for you guys? Yes, it's clear, miss. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So we're gonna go and practice. Remember, if your break room is quiet, let me know because I'm going to go there. Let's go. Ahí están las invitaciones. You have the invites.
of course that are withdrawn from the market. Why do do thing that happens? Okay. okay. Next, Monica. Hi. Okay, do you turn. do you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes read. Uh, how important it is to plan to development of a new product. What happens if a product product if launched to the market without begin carefully develop? Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? What do you think that happens? Next, okay. Javier. Oh, hello. But always you can answer the questions, right? You're going to answer. Ah, okay, okay. Or at the beginning, or at the beginning with a with a plan, because if you don't have any plans or and number two or number one, uh, you can make a error or any mistakes. So, um, however, that is so important to to in a specific time um, the product that you want to create. Because if you want to create a product, you are creating a necessity uh, for the society. At the moment you create us a necessity for the people and the people start to to buy your products and and your sales can hello Hello, Hello, Miss. Creo que al final no nos quedó muy claro qué era lo que vamos a hacer, si solamente practicar las preguntas o, o discutir. Yeah, lo you're going to discuss the questions with your classmates. You okay. ask and answer. You ask and answer. I... Oh, okay. Just, uh, just the question or about the... The questions right now. Okay. Questions. Like, like, what do you think about development of a product, and what happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed, and things like that. You can talk about an example about cars. I think there are cars that have been withdrawn from the market because they are dangerous, and then you can talk. Why do you think these cars are withdrawn from the market? Got it? Got it now? Yes, um, yeah, I, I got have it. one question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, about, about the first. Um about um lot of cars that are withdrawn. It, it that expression it mean um I I I how do you mean if you introduce your product in the market without the developer, right? It's about that the the, the expression uh withdrawn a lot of car a lot of car that lot are, of withdrawn. Cars are withdrawn muchos carros son retirados that's the meaning Walter yeah is that okay no is I, I I know withdraw is like um. Retirarse o retirado, right? Sí. Retirado del mercado. Dice que muchos carros son retirados del mercado. Okay. And they are retired, or they, I mean, they are withdrawn because they were not carefully developed, right? Because they have issues, they have problems, technical issues can be. Yeah? Okay. You got it, guys? Yeah.
Okay, welcome back. So, something you gotta remember, okay, is when we go to the break rooms to do these conversational practices, is for you to speak, okay? To speak, try to speak, try to share what you know. Uh, this is your time to speak because when I'm here, I can be explaining, speaking, talking, and you're just listening, right? But your time to practice is when you go to the break rooms, when you get the chance to speak with your classmates, okay? And when you were asking the question, like, do you know cars or a lot of cars that are withdrawn from the market? Do you know any cars that have been withdrawn from the market? Do you have like a brand name or something? No? You can no, invest it. No. Like, you can look it up on the I'm internet. not going to lie. You can say, mm, how many cars have been, wait a minute, we've been withdrawn from market this year, for example. It says automakers with the most and fewest recalls. How many vehicles have been recalled? Vehicles, huh, look at this. In 2022, there were 932 vehicle safety recalls. Safety. More than 30.8 million vehicles in the United States. Okay. So many cars that have been withdrawn from the market. Cars withdrawn You see like it says BMW E I3 BMW i3 that have been withdrawn Honda Clarity Look at this, Hyundai Veloster, Veloster, Hyundai Ionic Electric, Dodge Durango, SRT Hellcat. These have been the cars withdrawn. Do you know more examples? Kia 2018 for... Kia, what kind of Kia? Kia 2000... Uh, 18? 18 uh, for 18 and June died 2015. 2015? Yeah. But, 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 but the, the, the model, like, yeah. For example, it says uh, Volvo V60 and V90. It says Honda Clarity. It says oh, BMW Series Convertible. You see, many, many cars that have been withdrawn from the market. And they are withdrawn from the market because many times they have technical issues, right? They have problems with safety. You know, there is a really... I don't know, like, have you ever heard about the, what is this, Nissan, 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 Nissan Roach? No, no, it's not Nissan Roach. Yeah, Nissan Roach and Nissan Versa, Miss. It's bad cars. They are bad cars? Yeah. Nissan Sentra. Oh, I have a Nissan. Nissan Sentra. Nissan Sentra mm -hmm. is bad. But a in, Nissan in Sentra. Xterra 2. El Eliminaron todos esos vehículos y los mandaron. Yeah, they send them all here. It says, Grip, look, look at this, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Hmm. Honda Clarity. Hyundai Iconic Electric. Hyundai Veloster. Is this one I have seen here in El Salvador, the Hyundai Veloster. Yes, I have, have two, two doors. Hyundai. Very sport. It's a sport. sport. They say it's not safe. 
<clears throat> so it has been withdrawn from oh, the market. Okay. Also, the Kia Sedona, Lotus mm. Evora, I don't know what is that, Mazda CX3, Max, el, the Mazda number six, Mazda six. Oh. A lot of calls that are being withdrawn from the market because they have problems with safety and they have problems with the production. And that's what we're talking right now, right? Like sometimes in the production process, in the production development, they are not careful, right? This is a security card. This, that, is, that is what? Toyota, Toyota Camry. Toyota, Toyota Camry? Yes. My... Tiene una jaula igual, este que está aquí donde estoy entrando. Oh, really? Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So many cars, they, they are really safe. Really, really safe. And they car, there are many cars that have a lot of problems. Also, I don't know if you have heard about phones, telephone, smartphones withdrawn from the market. Have you ever heard about that? No. no. Samsung is Nokia is bad. Nokia? Samsung is bad. Nokia G20. Nokia G20. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. Xiaomi. Xiaomi? No, but withdrawn. Not that are bad phones. I'm asking withdrawn. They have uh, withdrawn. Samsung, market. Samsung S10 because the battery, the battery, the battery exploded. Yeah, I remember there were some zooms that were not allowed in the airplanes. You remember they were not allowed on airplanes because they explode, right? They have problems with the battery. Yeah. So there have been many, many phones that have been withdrawn from the market because sometimes people were speaking on the phone. I, I heard a lot of news for, for like in 2016 or 2017, it was a huge thing going on. People speaking on the phone and then poof, they exploded in the ears. And the, why do you think that happens? Why do you think that happens? Yo pensé que era cuando estaba hablando por teléfono y, y conectaba a la batería. Cuando usted lo tenía conectado, pensaba que pasaba eso. But sometimes it happened even without being plugged to the wall. So, what do you think was the problem? Uh, the problem was uh, the battery is put very hot mm -hmm. uh, to the explode. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you think that was a problem with the customer or the company, Ramiro? I think it's the company problem with the L uh, put the the um part uh, with issues. Okay. So maybe For manufacturing. Manufacturing process. Okay. okay. So you think yes. that was a problem with the development of the product? Yes. Rather it was not tested. Okay. It was tested poorly or it was not tested appropriately, right? So we had problems with the battery testing. So that's why the production process is very, very important. Okay, so yes. you see what we did right here, that's what I want you to do when you go to the break rooms, okay? That's what I want you to do, to be speaking. And I know we always need a leader in the break rooms because when someone is quiet and they don't want to speak and things like that and stuff like that, right? No, listen, you gotta speak, participate, share your thoughts so you can be, learning English, you know, that's what you want. You want to learn English. That's why you're here. Okay, let's go with the next activity. And the next activity we have here is this one, okay? Okay, this is a conversation. As you know, I'm gonna read it twice. The first time is for pronunciation. If you have questions about pronunciation or meanings, you can ask me Ask me at the, at the end. And then, um. Wait a moment. You can ask me at the end and then I'm going to read for intonation. Hi, Edgar. 
I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market. We want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. And, oh, I mean, sorry, confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening. The concept development and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, do you have questions about pronunciations or meanings? I have a question. What is the meaning of deal? What is the meaning of? Deal. Uh, what? Oh, deal, uh, this one? Like this one, I'm, I'm yeah. yes, yes, deal. Yes. Deal means like situation or problem. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you have more questions? Uh, yes, miss. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning screening? For the screening. Idea generation, generation. We should go for the screening. I think in this case will be something related with screens, like the screen of your phone. Yeah, but wait a minute. They can have another meaning. Screening, a showing of a movie, television, the evaluation. Or like investigation, sure. evaluation or investigation of something as a part of methodological survey. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So screening is when you do the evaluation or investigation of something. It can be like a survey. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. What else? The second line and the pointers. 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 Sec sec pointers. Pointers. Yeah. I wonder if we could, okay. you could give me some pointers to plan, like some points, specific uh, points. Items? Like yeah. a fine item? Yeah, like a specific parts. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. More questions? If not, I'm gonna go with intonation, okay? Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market. We want to offer a course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not a big deal. After the, after the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna send you the audio. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, 
you should write down any idea related to the market. We want to offer a course. Good idea. But it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, so you got the screenshot, you got the audio, and now we're gonna go and practice. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, miss. Remember, we are going yes. to practice. This is your time to practice, okay? Teacher, Try. yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. I have a question. Uh, so I don't know if I if I heard bad, but you you said testing the business analysis. What is the correct What is the correct pronunciation? Analysis or an, or analysis? When you say it as a verb. The correct form is analyze. But when you say it as a name, the correct form is analysis. Okay. okay. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go. Blanca.
switch. I am star. I am Rodrigo. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. Here, you chose uh, write down any idea related to offer our course. Good, good idea, but I still sound confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's no big idea. After the idea generation, we show go for the screening. Understand? Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Thank you. Uh, we change the person. Yes. Yeah. You, Rodrigo, and I am Edgar. Okay. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should be you should write down any idea relate the Hello. Remember you have the audio. If you don't know pronunciation, you can listen to the audio again and practice. Hello, Omar, what happened? The internet connection? Or your microphone is off. I cannot hear you. Uh, teacher, tuve problema. Okay. La conexión. O sea, hasta ahorita voy a incorporarme nuevamente. If you want to, puede apagar la cámara para mientras, por si la señal está dando problema. Ok. okay. Once again, remember, you have the audio, because I heard a lot of mispronunciations.
Hello, welcome back. Okay, so I heard a little bit of mispronunciation when I was in the breaker rooms. Remember, you have an audio, okay? And if you don't know the meaning of a word, it's pretty simple. Something that you can always do is this, look. So for example, let's see, mm, one that it's difficult to say. Let's see, let's see, still sounds confusing, partner. Look right down, related, market, good idea, anything, partner, generation, development, testing. Okay, analysis, because this question someone asked me, hey, how do you say that? Okay, so let's go with that one. For example, I go here and I do this analysis pronunciation. You see, and here you're going to have it. You see, you say, Analysis. Analysis, you see? It's not analyze. Okay, I want to hear it slowed it, slower. Analysis. Analysis. Analysis, okay? So, for example, I don't know the meaning of another word. Let's see, for example, I don't know how to say development, development. And you're like, I don't know how to say that. That is difficult to say. So, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to paste development oh it's development listen development oh development development but i want to hear it slower development here más despacio development okay i don't know the meaning of another word this one you were saying this one incorrect chold i heard someone say chold chold is not correct so what are we going to do look at it should listen should 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 slower should 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 okay you see so if you have problems with the pronunciation you can always just look for the words and i always send the audios to the whatsapp groups so if you want to listen to the audio, you can listen to it. You see, this one, it's another one, pointers. Pointers. You see, pointers. 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 You see, that's what I'm telling you. Because we need to practice the pronunciation. So if you have problems with pronunciation, you can listen to the audio or you can look for the specific pronunciations, okay? just because we want to learn, okay? Now, let's see, I wanna hear some participants. <clears throat> let's go with Oseas and Angela. Oseas, you start, Angela, you go then. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Okay, Oseas, go ahead. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business anal analysis. <laughs> now it's it. Okay. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was good. Give them an applause. Excellent. So you see, the classmate had a little bit of trouble with this word. So I'm going to go with this. Like, yeah, I don't know how to say that. So let's see. Analysis. 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 Then the test in the business analysis. You see? So that is okay. That was good. Excellent. Let's go now with Johnny and... Let's see, let's see. Jocelyn. Okay, I am Rodrigo. Hi, Edgar. 
I wonder if you could give me some pointer to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not a big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure. I understand. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Excellent. Good job. You see, that's how we do Excellent. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. You see, in these cases, we need to practice. Sometimes I know that maybe you can be afraid because there are some classmates that know a little bit more, maybe, maybe, right? But don't be scared of them. Ask them for help because they can help you. They know a little bit more so they can help. Remember that I was really bad in English. I was really, really bad. So how did I improve? Because I was practicing. That's what you need to do. You need to practice, that's it. Okay, then we have some questions. You didn't answer the questions, right? Nope, right? No, no. no, because we were not supposed to do it. Now, the next activity is that. So we need to answer these questions that are right here. We have one, two, three questions. Let's see, can you help me reading the question number one, please, Maria Julia? Uh, do you do you think Rodrigo could development develop the new course successful by ips self why or why not? Okay, Maria Julia, repeat after me. Do you think? Do you think Rodrigo could develop could, could develop the new course successfully? So successfully by himself by himself excellent. why excellent maria julia why and why not okay thank you so do you think rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself this is something you're going to write the answer you're going to write the answer you're going to discuss with your partners your classmates number two can you help me reading the number two please let's see let's see oscar Tenía el presentimiento, yo me voy a decir. Wow, okay. <laughs> what is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Struggling with, excellent. Thank you very much, Oscar. What is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Struggling, like having... What is, what is a struggling... Like having problems. No, 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 no. Struggling. Like having problems ah. with something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Struggling. Okay, excellent. So what is the, the step that he's having problems with? You need to identify that. Let's go with the number three, Monica. What step should Rodrigo take after identifying that Target market of the new product. Okay, repeat after me. Identifying. Identifying. Target. Target. Okay, thank you very much. So yes, thank you, Monica. What steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the new product? Okay, so you need to answer these three questions. These three questions, yes, I will need you to type and write the answers, okay? So if you could take a screenshot of this. And you can send it to the WhatsApp group, I will appreciate it. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna discuss with a different group, the answers for this. Okay, I will need the answers, okay? When we come back, I'm gonna ask you and you're gonna tell me the answer, but I need them Write and read in, okay? I need them written down. Let's go.
en el chat. Number, number two. Okay. ¿Cuál era? Dijo Silvia. Number two. Eh, number two. Ya os voy a decir number two. Hola Silvia. The number two. Sí. Oh. Concept develop, development and testing the and testing. This is all all the steps. Okay, and concept development. Uh, okay, okay. The third is what steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target marker for the new product and the answer is first you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer or course okay vaya chica quien dice la uno yo i am do you think i am i'm reading habemos ocho personas do you do you think Rodrigo? Pero develop... le listen, no, no, you didn't answer why or why not. You only say yes, could a new course by himself. He could he could what? He could develop. Ah no, mi esa la hicimos en el otro grupo donde estábamos todos los que no podemos. Okay, but it will be yes, he could develop. <laughs> Okay. Yes. No, no, no. But the, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. this was correct. Yes, he, he could. could develop. Ah, okay. Yes, he could. Yes. yes. Cool. He could. could develop. 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 No, 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 no. Ah, no. Ah, no, 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 no. Cool. Cool. Develop. Cool. Develop. Cool. Ah, vaya, ¿no? We'll develop. Yeah. We'll develop a new course by himself. And then the question, why or why not? You have not answered that question. You have to answer the why or why not. Why or why not? You say because, and blah, 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 blah. And then the number three, first he should write down. He, because you're talking about he. And the number three, not you, first he. Yeah. He should okay. write down. The number one, remember you have to answer the question, why or why not? Okay, you also have to answer that question. Why?
Hello. Hello, boo. Welcome back. So you have the answers. Okay. Yes, I'm not busy. No, it's not 10 p.m. already. No. Oh, no, no. It's eight. It's eight to eight. It's eight to ten. It's eight to eight. <laughs> it's eight to ten. Yeah, we still have a little bit of time here. Okay, but if you haven't had, if you haven't felt the time, and if you're like, ah, maybe it's because you have been busy. That's good. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay. Anyways, let's see. The answer to the question number one. I'm going to ask. Let's see. Oseas. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Mm, no. He, Why? He couldn't because he is asking help to... Edgar. To Edgar, yeah. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, Oseas, ask the question number two to another participant, please. Okay. Um, Oscar, what is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is strugg struggling with? Struggling. Sorry, my microphone. Concept development uh, and testing the business analysis. Okay. Oscar, ask the next question to another participant, please. And Jocelyn, what steps should Rodrigo take after identify the target market for the new products? Identify. Rodrigo should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. So what step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with. Of course, I don't know where to start. I think he's struggling with the first, with the first step, right? Yes. Yes, I think it's different. The first step is uh, the idea generation. Okay, he's struggling with the generation of struggling. ideas, right? Struggling. Okay, struggling. struggling. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to do a different activity, and this activity is going to be pretty fast. So we have eight steps here, and it says, how does a new product develop? Number the steps in order from one to eight, then compare with a partner. So we need to... Uh, order these steps and think what is the first step, the second, the third, the fourth, and etc. okay? So for example, let's see. Product development, idea screening, concept, launch, business, commercialization, target, marketing, test marketing, idea generation. What do you think is the number one? I think maybe- Idea the, generation. Okay. Maybe that's the number one. Okay. Okay. So now I want you to think individually. What do you think is the number two? Business analysis. Idea screening. Mm -hmm. You see, you have different opinions. Okay. I, I think it's idea screening. Okay. Let's, let's do something. Let's write it in the chat here in the Zoom chat write the steps as you consider they are organized and then we're going to compare, okay? Actually, you see, there's something different. Business analysis is the number one. Sorry about that. Yeah, business yeah. Analysis is the number one. Business study market miss. Yeah, okay. Market study, a business analysis. Yeah, correct. Then let's go with the number two. The number Thank two you. is the test it, marketing. What? Test marketing. 
Okay. And the number three, I'm just going to give you the number, the first three steps. One, two, and three. Okay. There you go. Idea mm -hmm. generation. Idea is going. Um, and product development. Product development. Concept development and testing. If and lots is commercially set. You think? Well, this is the number two, the four, I mean. I, I, I have a question. Walter. Why business analysis is the first one? Because if I don't have any idea what I can analyze. It. I agree. Yeah, it says here, well, this is the these are the answers that the manual has, right? So the manual says that the number one is a business analysis because before uh, creating a new product, you need to do an analysis in your business. So what do you need? What do you need to develop? What new products do you need to launch? What is your marketing, your target marketing? So, right, but if I don't have any, I don't have any idea what what I was announced. That's, what, what, I'm, that's what I'm telling you. That I think. Here, excuse it, me. Yeah. I think I think um after of the analyze business, uh, second step is idea. Because when you when you are uh, looking at the business and your product creating a necessity, you can you can create idea for your product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, exactly. And as Angel, An Angela said, I'm sorry. In this case, you can look at it like this: if you don't have a business analysis. How do you know what ideas you need to get? That's what it's saying here. That first you need to analyze the business. Then you need to test the market for you to launch a new product. So you don't have ideas in that at that point, right? You're just trying to think of a, a new product, for example. So first you need to analyze the business test the market yes. and then you come up with new ideas. They are very close to test. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because maybe they can occur at the same time. Maybe they are happening at the same time. Let me tell you what it says here. I'm going to tell you the answers that we have in the manual. Okay. Maybe you agree with it or maybe you don't. That's okay. It says five. Number six says concept development and testing. <laughs> then the number seven says commercialization. And the number eight says idea screening. Remember, a screening was like surveys, right? Okay, that's what it is. In the manual, in the booklet, those are the answers that we can see. Maybe we can discuss this later tomorrow. And we can have different ideas, and that is okay. Okay. Remember, we are not Miss, studying marketing, we're studying English. O sea, Miss, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the correct form to say, for example, si yo quiero decir una letra falta en una palabra, what is the, the correct form to say that? One letter is missing. It's missing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go with the last attendance. Wanna say your name? You say present or oh, I'm here. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Diaz. Uh eh, I'm here. Present Miss. Okay. Me. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Yeah. Dennis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. 
I see you, but I cannot hear you. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Jose Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Walter Vladimir. Here. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Mónica, Wendy, Álvaro, Álvaro Cirón. Present. Ok. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Present. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present, Miss. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. En Omar Set Galicia López. Ok, that will be it for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Got it? Sí. Bye, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, take care. See you. Bye. Take care. Miss. Yeah. I I am in class or listening. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, yeah. what is the what is the link for to do the exercise and the web and the page with? Yeah, I'm gonna help you. Wait a minute. If you can copy in the chat, it could much better. Yeah, I can help you with that. Javier, no lo mencioné. No. Fíjese que no me aparece aquí en el curso. Y usted le dijeron, le mandaron el correo y todo. No. Mm, si gusta, llame mañana y pregunte. Si no, yo voy a preguntar de todas formas, Javier, ¿ok? Ok, sí, yo me conecté porque mis compañeros me enviaron el link, que hasta la de Recursos Humanos me envió el link, porque yo le dije que no, no me habían enviado nada, y me lo compartieron, por eso me metí. Bye. Ok, voy a preguntar, Javier. Ok, mis. Ok, bien, thank you. Ángela, ahí se lo mandé. Ok, thank you, good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye, have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.